still waiting for Robert Zimmerman yes. to show up. Yeah. George Zimmerman's brother. Yeah, apparently um, yeah, we weren't even able to say something yesterday because uh, everywhere he gets booked, uh, they never really announce because there's a lot of people that wish to do the Zimmerman family bodily harm, which is uh, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. And uh, he's uh, he was up for, I guess, Pierce Morgan last night. And uh, he's flying back to Florida mm-hmm. after this to uh, sit in on the trial a little more. Is the family in hiding? No, they're, they're really? in the court. They're there in the courtroom. No, I mean when they're not in a courtroom. Oh, no. I don't know. Hmm. How does that work? No. <laughs> See, it's I got to answer things like this. Like Robert Zimmerman is George Zimmerman's worst enemy. How was that? He's defending uh, his his brother on uh, on the Twitter. Right. I don't know. None of that shit is you know going to be in, involved in the case or anything. Right. Don't have to worry about that. I guess the defense is uh, trying to get uh, trying to get some video that was on Trayvon's phone entered into evidence. Um, it's a Trayvon recording two other guys fighting, you know, and they're talking and you know. Yeah. You know, shit like that, um, and and they initially said no, you can't can't have that in there. Now they're trying to get it put in as a voice uh, example. Wow, so for Trayvon, so it's like all right, they're trying to like backdoor it. I guess they were calling it right, uh, and get it put into evidence as something else. But meanwhile, if the jury sees it, they might get a little more of a a line on what uh, he was about and stuff like right, that. Right, so, right. Yeah, interesting goings on going on. Why? Why don't they allow just everything? Hey, there's plenty of shit that uh, they just don't trust the jurors enough, right? Is no, that what that's I about? think I think technically they don't want to confuse the issue. Right. Uh, the certain things aren't admissible because they aren't relevant to the case. Right. Uh, they'll they'll always argue that certain things aren't relevant to the case, even though if it's, it seems like it is. I think a lot of the uh, but if if it's not relevant to the case, the jurors should be smart enough to go, oh, that that's just horseshit. Well, that's, they say why really should it then even be presented? Well, yeah. but let the jurors fucking. Uh... Mm. You know, work through all that. Well, it's like a rape victim. Like they say, you can't, no matter what her sexual history is, you can't bring yeah, it up. Yeah, they, yeah. they just don't think it's relevant. Um, certain times, prior behaviors, if you're like, it can be counted. Mm. Other times, no, they can't. It's really weird. Yeah, no, I understand what it's all about in the end, but I don't know. Yeah, I if think, uh, I, th- I, th- I think, I honestly think some of those texts and um, whatnot are relevant to the case. If you can show that. Maybe Trayvon uh, had a, a certain aggressive nature for um, f- uh, for a pension for fighting or whatnot. Mm. You know, I think that would be relevant. But apparently, they say at least in the opening arguments, they're not dumb. Yeah, I don't know if relevant. they are or not. To be honest with you, I, I don't know. Yeah, so, yeah I, 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 I could probably be convinced either way. Yeah. So he's only doing our show and Piers Morgan. Did he do anybody else in New York? No, that's uh, that's it. He flew in, flew out. Just because you uh, have a, a little relationship with the guy online, I have a nice little rapport with him on uh, on Twitter. I uh, I definitely support uh, support uh, his his brother. Well, you know, uh, from from and I, I've definitely been keeping tabs, probably more than a lot of people on on the case. I'm not sitting in the court. I can't. Yeah. I'm not saying that. Coke and Pepsi still. Oh boy. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think it's very important. I think I, I think this is a a, a very important case. <laughs> yeah. To um, well, I don't know what's going you on. Know, the, your your right to defend yourself, uh, and I think there's such a racial uh, racial aspect to this whole thing that's in play right now that I think is clouding some people's view of of, of what true justice is. And um, more importantly, he's late. He is late. He's very I late. Know. He's 17 minutes late. Okay. It's New York. It's raining. I don't know. Is it raining out there? Whoa, Extreme close-up. Hey. Camera's in my face. Yeah, it's like a... Oh, fucking Chip. You can move it wherever you want. Oh my you can move God. the camera wherever you want. If Chip shows up during this interview, I might be in court for the same reason. <laughs> <laughs> if Chip shows up? Oh, God. So what's up? What's up? <laughs> What's up? Yeah. Uh, Pick a card. Yeah. What was he doing? Jesus. Right? Uh, we got uh, Gary Busey acting all crazy and shit. 
We can play this is, as we wait that, for Robert. Is that something exclusive? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's exclusive to our show. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah that, everyone knows he's pretty fucking oh. normal when he's on TV. But we got a different version of him. That's right. Gary Busey's a different kind of man. That's me. I'm surrounded by angels. And those angels are giving me information to say. They go home after shampooing somebody's puppy, but they didn't know it. And they were gold, white light, and they were moving like they were breathing. And out of that light came an androgynous voice that spoke to me and thought. He said, you're in a beautiful place. You are going in the right direction. You may come with us now, or you can return to your body and learn how to kill lions with a short spear. But for the responsibility you have coming up in you, you must look for help in the spiritual realm. And I'm recording a CD with some of Buddy Holly's songs no one's heard before. It's wasted time, it's wasted effort to write something that doesn't have to be righted because it's already it's already right. Nothing is difficult for this cowboy. Hey, hey, I'm high and I'm dry. I'm looking for some bozo to put me in the water. Ba, 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 ba. That is the intergalactic communication value. Oh, yeah. I was only about a foot long and a quarter of an inch wide. And that's the size of your soul. And your soul is housed in the column of your spine. It's like explaining an orgasm to a 10-year-old. So be careful when you come at me growling. I'll get you. And you'll be floating on air. And the word float... F-L-O-A-T stands for Feeling Light on Air Today. It's your choice. I'm right on the money with my truth. That's what you get when you buy that dinner. Figure it out. It'll come to you later. Fucking love it. (laughs) Wow. I love it. That was creepy. I love it. And uh, artistic and uh, a lot going on there. I think uh, that can be turned into a little animation. A lot for the palette right there. Who wants to take that on? <laughs> Coke Logic, you want to take that on? Mm, could be. Wow. It, it kind of has that, that, that cups. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drinking from cups. Drinking from cups. Has that kind of feel to it. Wow. He is fucking... I think that if that was animated, that it would do pretty well. Yeah, yeah. What was he talking about, though? Oh, yeah, I knew I don't even perfectly. Know. I don't know. And his, um, his that, little Buseyisms. What are those things where he takes the float? Feeling light on air. And then the, he didn't have a good one for the tea. What was the tea? Today. Well, yeah. it's not today. Well, yeah. why should not? have been something else. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He lost me with the tea on that. Yeah. It's like float. Feeling light on air. It's like, all right, all right. Eh. Today. It's like, oh, you you found a tea where yeah. you didn't even, didn't even try. Should have been like floating light on air. Titties. Uh, now Robert Zimmerman is 20 minutes late. Oh man! The only reason I keep saying this because I'm ha- I, I am wondering if he's all wet, already on his way back to Florida. Oh man, I will be very angry. No, <laughs> do we know? No. I'm uh, sure he's any word from Roland? Not yet. No. Let me, let me call. Man. Roland. Let's see Call we're... Roland. Call Roland. Let's see what Roland. Because now we're just kind of in the middle of word. Yeah, it's weird. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Can't really do anything until we know what the fuck's going on with uh, yeah. Robert Zimmerman. <laughs> well, just oh, just people are speculating he had to walk past the Shade uh, 45 studio. <laughs> Perhaps they, they dragged him in there. Hello? Hi, Roland. Uh, hi, Roland. It's Hello. Opie Anthony and Jim Norton. How are you? All right. We're wondering if uh, Mr. Zimmerman is in the building. Yes. Oh, we're asking. What? I'm not going to say wait for him. Oh, I thought he said yes. He yeah, I thought you said yes, too. So he's 20 minutes late. Is he still in New York City? Uh, I don't know. I sent out emails and everything to when you hear back. I've heard these things. Uh, I sent him back one that Tuesday night. That's going to see tomorrow. Okay, so he's not showing up today. That's obvious. No, uh, he has So we to. can move on to other things. I, uh, we could just play clips from his appearance on but, MSNBC yesterday. But it's... Uh, can I... 
Yes, oh, I don't think he was on Piers Morgan last night. He was night. on MSNBC. I, no, I saw right? I saw a Piers Morgan thing, and it said uh, who was going to be on, and, and I saw his name. Yeah, I don't think... There's no video of him on... Yeah, I don't think he was... Uh, get bumped. Wasn't he on MSNBC? He was on MSNBC, but not in studio yeah, with him. Let me him. check my messages. Let me check... Uh, oh, boy. Let's see if I got something here. So... Check your fucking messages. Oh, oh. Right there? Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, it's hard to hear you downstairs. The self-service sucks. What? What? Uh, it's, it's hard to hear you because the self-service here sucks. All right. Well, now you know how we feel. Yeah, I don't know how we feel. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get people on the phone. We can't get anything done around this place. Uh, so I think we feel rolling. Okay. All right, Roland. All right. What do you think? Right. Do you think this is happening? Um, I don't see him yet. So what should I do? I'll check him mm -hmm. All right. All he right. did tweet that he's doing the show. Oh, did he? When did he tweet that? 12 hours ago. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hmm? Uh, hmm. Because he's saying something from the circle, so. Roland, is that him right there? Yeah. That guy, take a look, right there. Yeah, the it? guy booing the black security guard. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, keep us updated, Roland. Uh, um, all right, maybe we could call Barry Williams if we have time to kill. Where are you? Where are you going to watch your TBS show tonight? We watch it at home, or are you going to watch it with family, or are you just going to not watch it and watch it after? This is how people... I might not even watch it. Why? Yeah, because I'm always I worried hate... about stuff when it's yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We'll, no, we'll probably just watch it. Yes, you, Anthony, you have the right to defend yourself. That's why Trayvon attacked his stalker. How could you even say... That doesn't classify as stalking. And there's no... Dif if someone's following you, you're not allowed to punch them. You're not allowed to put your hands on someone, even if they're following you down the street. You know, so, so regardless, I'm not even saying he was, but even if he was following him, you can't defend yourself like that using physical force against somebody that is, is uh, uh, following you. And stalking is quite the leap from uh, a, a neighborhood watch guy getting out of a vehicle and trying to see where a, a guy that he has suspicions about is is going after he called the cops already and and, and want to keep tabs on 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 where where this guy's going and and trying to say that's stalking what was he fucking picked him out oh there's this trayvon guy i've been following for months there he is let me follow him some more so it's just stop with the fucking wording trying to make this something it wasn't he wasn't stalking him he wasn't defending himself against an attacker if anyone was attacked, it was Zimmerman. You're shouting. Oh, I, because these people are <laughs> morons. They're morons. They know nothing of the case. They know nothing of self-defense case law. Yeah. They're fucking assholes that are so emotionally invested in it that they don't take any time to realize what's what's really happening and what what this uh, what the case is really about. Fuck. Ah. Ugh. <laughs> How's your oh. dinosaur? There was a line of people taking pictures by <laughs> yeah, it. I saw Troy Kwan, his bitches. Mm. Uh, they were all lined up, just waiting to take pictures of the uh, dinosaur. Yeah. Oh, these Twitter people. Yeah, there's a lot of dopes on Twitter. They Let's be really honest. just don't really get it. Oh, my God. Let's see. Did uh, I get any Zimmerman tweets? No. So I don't know what's going on. He should have been here already. I wonder what changed. Oh boy. Um, I, it's it's uh, kind of you know where's where's maybe a phone call to Roland. Maybe do I have, do I have uh, yeah, I, look. I got the mouthpieces uh, number. I forgot his mouthpiece. Maybe yeah, give the Esquire a call. Let me see. Uh, give the Esquire a call and see what he says. Esquire. Hey there. Give the Esquire a call, see what he says. He, he, D, he DM'd me? Is that what he did? Let me see. Da -da -da. Roland just texted. He has Robert. They're on the way up. Oh, 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 oh boy. Hey. Whoa. Uh, whoa. 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 Whoa.
what do you think of that, Bubba? What do you think, Bubba? Bubba, Bubba Robert Zimmer is Bubba, coming Bubba. upstairs. It's a big deal. He's coming in the studio. Oh, a footnote to the party. Um, Bobo, of course, wanted to go to my party. How was he as a guest? Well, uh, I left it to the Twitter audience and said, uh, you guys decide whether he should be able to come or not. And um, they actually decided that he should, because cool. they would oh, have great. liked to have seen some pictures and stories and stuff. That's very so nice. I put on Twitter, I said, okay, you could come. I immediately got tweeted from Bobo, I don't have a ride. How do I get there? Can I get a ride? Can someone pick me up? Is there a way? I'll take the train and a cab. I don't have money. I can't get... So it was just like, all that he pounded. He's like, P please, people, vote for me to go to the party. I want to go to the party. Can I go to the party? Please let me go to the party. Has no okay, ride. you can go to the party. I can't get to the party. <laughs> He's exhausting. Exhausting. You're the only one that still deals with him. Well, you know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <sighs> He's a fool. He's a fool. Mm -hmm. Bobo's a fool. He is a baffoon. Definitely. Uh, What's going on with this whole thing? <laughs> oh no! Oh, don't. Clarity, please. What's up with that? It sound like I knew about sports last night. Yeah. You don't, though. I had to fake it. You did fake it, right? Yeah. What did you yeah. say? Just like hacky sport things? Like I liked your little voice at first. What do you mean? Well, you had this going. Oh, really? You had a couple of gulps, which was adorable. Were you nervous? Uh, I, had ner I don't know if I was nervous because I was comfortable around her, but... Uh, it looked like you were signing with your hands. You were t Yeah, I'm a fidgety You guy. are fidgeting with How your hands. How sexy is she? There. Oh Michelle Beadle is sexy, yeah. man. She looked really she's good sexy. yesterday, too. Right legs. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's fantastic. She looked good on cam. She yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the, uh, was it Justin Stangles? Uh, his, you know how behind you people's yeah. tweets yeah. are going? And there's a, someone screen capped. Justin Stangles' tweet was <laughs> behind you oh, guys. Oh, really? What did it say? Yeah. I don't know. It was just something about sports. Why don't, why don't you bring your clips to our show? Oh shit! We're saving them for the very, after show. It's, it's Eric's Oh, I heard something. I heard a niggle in my head. That seems very uh, oh, self-indulgent. <laughs> What's well, part of the show? I guess. Yeah, we're all self-indulgent in the end. I can give you clips. There's lots of them. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I want it for home use. <laughs> Why <laughs> have a sand party? <laughs> Why did they play like the episode twice in a row? They always do that with the crossover. I don't know. It's they kind of weird. It was so good because they don't have a lot of programming over there. Maybe no. Actually, I think Jim's right. They usually don't do that, but they really like the episode. Oh, yeah. yeah, they wanted me to do a show, and I said no because I don't believe in that uh, channel, NBC. <laughs> you don't believe in NBC Sports, <laughs> NBC Sports Channel. Yeah, you know? they wanted yeah. me to do where I, I pick all my teams. Yeah, yeah. I give them my picks. We're gonna call it Jimmy's picks of the week, but spell picks P I X. That's good. <laughs> yeah, That's my kinda, suggestion that was the whole catch show? people. Jimmy's picks of the week <laughs> <laughs> from eight to eight ten only on Thursday. <laughs> Right. No, I thought you did pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How come yeah, not great? Good. Well, no, it was very natural. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Except for the gulping and the fidgeting. Well, the gulping, at fr and you, you fell into it, like, oh. very quickly. Once you got a good laugh and stuff, then, you, you know, you were like, all right, I could do this. Gotcha. At first, and I love the fidgety hands. Yeah. He, was, he was doing what's called washing the hands, where it's almost like a sling blade thing. Right. Yeah. You were doing that, and then you were praying. You were doing a, here's the church, here's the steeple, yep. open the door, see all the people. Right, all of that. Uh, that. And then you were kind of just doing a, you were really distorting your hands. At one point, you literally had one arm bent and shoved <laughs> under your leg, and the other one was against the arm of the couch. And it's like, just, what is he, he's like deforming himself. And then just leaning in, like casually listening. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. I was fascinated just by what you were doing with your arms and, and, and stuff. But, but more uh, importantly, what did uh, Mrs. Roberts think? Oh, oh, my God. What did she There think? it Why is. Why aren't you like, asking the real questions here? My mom called me, and she said yeah. that I did. She said, I thought you would do great, but you were just phenomenal. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Nice. And she said, and you have real chemistry with Michelle. Oh. You and you. Oh. Oh. Are you thinking oh. co-host? Oh. <laughs> co-host? I was like, thank, thank you, Mom. Perhaps.